Uh, this is a bagpipe. It is the Great Highland Bagpipe, the most recognisable set of bagpipes anywhere, mostly through parades, etc. The Great Highland Bagpipe is distinctive because of the three drones across the shoulder, uh, which produce a background hum or drone as we play our music, which all comes from the chanter down at the front. This instrument is a woodwind instrument. It is based by blowing and as such has a, a set of reeds. has one reed that's in the chanter that is the main one that plays the music, but it also has reeds in each of the drones and they are just set to give a continuous tone and we tune those into a pitch that's off the chanter. So we have the chanter which is interchangeable and we have these drones that will sit and play the background. On them you will see the metal parts here, each of which is designed to be a tuning pin and will slide up and down to allow us to change the pitch slightly so that we can tune the drones across and we can tune them to the main sound and main pitch of the chanter itself. So the bagpipes, the way to generate anything, as said, was through air, the air delivery. But it's impossible to blow the whole time unless you can circular breathe. With bagpipes that would be impractical because of the pressure that you have to generate. So that's where the bag comes in, and the bag is the secret to continuous music. We blow as long as we can blow, and then when we need to take a breath, we use the bag as the source of the pressure. So we're going to squeeze the bag slightly to allow air to come out. That allows me to inhale, refill my lungs, and then start to blow again. And when I blow back in, I let the arm ease off the bag. Then I squeeze, then I blow, and that cycle is the trick, the technique, if you like, to playing bagpipes properly. Then after that we obviously have to try and keep it nice and steady so you get a nice sound out of it. But that's what allows the airflow to come through. So basically we have the chanter playing the music, we have the bag, which I like to consider as a third lung almost, that's where I'm going to use excess air when I need to take a breath, and we have the drones playing the background. That's everything to a set of bagpipes, except the blow stick. That is purely to get the air into the bag, there's nothing else to this. And that's a set of bagpipes. So I've mentioned the word drone, and this isn't a reference to anything that's flying around above our heads. This is a musical term. Basically the drones, as we call them here, give a, cons a consistent tone as we play our music. The longer it is, the deeper the tone. So this is actually a bass tone. These two are a tenor tone, and this gives the music. So we have three different levels. So to let you hear the drones, there's no way to separate them out tonally but you'll hear a deep tone come in and you'll hear a lighter tone at the same time and that's without the chanter playing. With bagpipes, you do have uh, nine notes in our scale, so somewhat limited, but there is a lot we can do with that. Our very bass note is a G, and we also have G and an another A at the top end, but we will go G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. That is all of our notes. But when we play a C and an F, they are actually, with other instruments, they would be considered to be a C sharp and an F sharp. mixolydian mode we have nine notes and two of those are sharps the C and F and the modern technology with everything we have we actually use electrical tape to artificially flatten or sharpen notes and by that I mean we can actually slide the tape up or down across a hole to give you a slightly different pitch on it so technically Scotland and Ireland cannot lay claim to inventing the instrument Popular belief actually puts that to the Middle East, old Mesopotamia, which is in modern day Iraq. The bagpipes go back thousands of years. They are an old, old instrument. There's versions, there's even biblical mentions, there's, there's everything. Emperor Nero apparently played a version of bagpipes, so they say. And it would have been the shepherds and the goat herders of the time basically formed an instrument using reeds and they created some kind of bladder so that when they took a breath they had a, a way for the air to continue to come out. Uh, the bagpipes itself then migrated, if you like, across from the Middle East all the way across Europe 
And if you look in every single country and across that migration, you'll find a form of bagpipe. Maybe not as recognisable as this set here, but they will have the basic bladder, they will have a reed system, they will have some kind of chanter, whether they call that a chanter or not. Some of them are wonderfully musical, some of them are a little strange to our ear. All of them, when played properly, are very interesting.